Hello everyone, it is Natasha here from Nat Liquid Style coming to you today with a little something different. I am doing a holiday DIY collab with the lovely, beautiful, talented Julie from Julie Simply Love. And we are partnering together, like I said, to do a holiday DIY. Um, if you have not yet checked out Julie's channel or if you're not aware of who Julie is, she is an awesome, talented young lady who does home decor, DIYs, uh, beauty. She has a complete lifestyle channel um, at Julie Simply Love. So please make sure you check her channel out, show her some love and some support. Uh, her style is impeccable. Her taste is uh, fantastic and uh, her style is on point. Uh, she has classic black and white with a mix of gold. Her home is fantastic. When you go over to her channel, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So please make sure you check her out. You can also um, stay connected with her through Snapchat at Julie Simply Love on Facebook as well as Instagram. So I am going to uh, give you all that information at the end of the video, all of her connections to her social media. Also, when you go over to her channel and you check it out, you can click on the links directly on her page and go directly to her social media so you can stay connected with her. And you guys are going to be very, very happy with what you see at Julie's channel at Julie Simply Love. So please make sure you check it out. This girl is awesome when it comes to DIYs and uh, it's really next level stuff. And I'm so glad that we were able to connect. And uh, she is uh, someone that I consider a really good uh, friend, uh, Instagram and YouTube friend. So uh, we are going to show you guys holiday DIYs and I want to show you guys how you can do a caramel latte at home. I am enjoying a nice cup. You see my little holiday cup, eat, drink and be merry. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do it at home. You don't have to spend six and seven dollars at Starbucks you can do it right at home so please make sure you check Julie out it's the holidays guys it's the holiday seasons time to uh, be with the ones we love and share love and be happy and do all those things that that this time of the year um, uh, speaks of so happy holidays thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy the video Okay guys, we're going to make a caramel latte with the cinnamon stick right at home. You don't have to run out to Starbucks every time when you want that uh, designer coffee at your home. I'm going to show you how you can do it for pennies on the dollar. I love coffee. I love getting up in the morning, having a nice cup of coffee. And sometimes you just want that specialty drink, you know, a caramel latte, a frappe, or something like that. And I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. Now, I use the Keurig, the Keurig caramel uh latte coffee a pod uh, but you could use any type of caramel coffee you'd like simply put that in the Keurig let it do all of its work and once it was done I added all of the nice goodness that we pay so much money for at Starbucks once it was done I simply took some cool whip well not cool whip wet ready whip and uh, I added it to the top now it's already pre-sweetened but sometimes it's kind of uh, not as sweet as I would like it so I add a teaspoon of sugar and here you can see I'm mixing it with my lovely caramel and chocolate spoon I found these at Walmart they were five dollars and they were in the Christmas holiday aisle so those are Wilson caramel chocolate spoons in the holiday aisle at Walmart they were where the paper plates and the Christmas napkins were here I'm cheating a little bit. This is not frothed milk. I'm using Ready Whip, adding that to the top for making it yummy and delicious. And what's a caramel latte without what? Caramel. So here's some Tarani caramel that you can purchase from Publix or Walmart. It runs around $5, $5.50. Just add a little bit of that to the top. And there you have a wonderful homemade caramel latte right at home. And it was absolutely delicious. Um, again, I love coffee, pumpkin spice, any type of flavor coffee, any type of latte, I like it. Add a fresh cinnamon stick and there you have it. Now on to the DIYs. DIY number one is a glam pine cone vignette. I absolutely love doing this DIY project. Remember those Instagram pine cones I posted? I simply took some of those pine cones. I got some Rust-Oleum metallic silver paint and, um, this here you see is a uh, ornament I got from Walmart, a Christmas ornament. It looks like a Christmas gift. 
I purchased two from the Dollar Tree of those candle holders, those glass candle holders. Spray painted the pine cones with the silver metallic paint. Simply hot glued them on to the present. Now I removed the top, this top I removed. Put hot glue on it. Here you can see it's removed because I wanted that, that little uh, glass cube is what I wanted. Put hot glue on top of the candles and put the pine cones on. Totally, totally simple. Now on to DIY number two, a Christmas floral, the cozy Christmas floral. I already had two glass cylinders um, at home. Uh, I simply uh, put the uh, two floral uh, bouquets that I got from Walmart, they were $5 each. I purchased a set of leg warmers and here you can see the glam buttons there, both from Walmart. I simply put those leg warmers onto the glass cylinders, hot glued the uh, button onto the front to give it that cold, cozy, glam look. And here you can see the completed look. Guys, I really, really love this glam pine cone vignette. I love the way it turned out, exactly what I was trying to achieve. I wanted something small, but something that, you know, gave a, a cozy feeling. It's pine cones, but like that glam effect. So I really love the way that turned out. I'm also loving how these turned out. Now, I'm probably not going to leave these here, guys. I'm probably not going to leave these on my buffet, but I just put it there for this video. Look how cozy that looks. You can use socks. You can cut the bottom off a sock and fold it under. I was trying to find plaid socks, but I couldn't find any. So these white leg warmers worked just as well. So I simply scrunch those up on there. You can put as many uh, buttons on there. You can use a big brooch, anything glam, old buttons, anything you want to put on that to get your um, the look that you're trying to achieve for your home. But I love the way these DIYs turned out. Totally easy. The pine cones were free. Uh, I spent very uh, little money, and I love the way it turned out. So there you have it, guys. The caramel latte and two easy DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you check out Julie at Julie Simply Love. Visit her channel, Julie Simply Love, and also follow her on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm wishing you a wonderful holiday season. And until the next video, I'll see you right here at Matt Mickard Style. If you have yet to subscribe, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And so the next video, I'll see you right here at Matt McRick Style.